Hi guys, I'm Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to record the GameCube with the Elgato HD. Let's get started. So this is what we're going to need guys. We're going to need our GameCube with all the cables, the SCART cable of course, and its power supply. Now, we also need the Elgato HD with its cable to connect to the PC. And importantly, we're going to need this cable. It's the component cable. So let's connect everything together, guys. Let's take the Elgato HD and the component cable. We're going to take the S video end and plug that into the AV in. So plug that in. Now we have that. The next part, we're going to want to take the SCART cable from the GameCube. We're going to unplug all the cables from it. See? All three. And this is the important bit. We're going to want to take the yellow cable from the SCART and then from the component cable, this orangey, orangey red one. Plug that into there. And then we take this double headed end of the cable from the component cable, red into red, and white into white. So we have that connected. Next, we're gonna want to take the HDMI cable from the, the back of our TV and that will go into the HDMI out end of the Elgato. Put that in and finally we're going to want to take the cable to connect our Elgato to the PC. So the USB end that will go into our laptop and this end will go into the Elgato. So we take this end, find the USB port, plug that in. And now we're ready to move on. And next we take the USB from the Elgato and plug it into our laptop. With that connected, now we're gonna need the Elgato software. You can download it from the official Elgato website there's a Windows version and a Mac version. I'll put links to those in the description. Once you've downloaded the Elgato software, we're going to want to open it. So I'm opening mine here and you should get this screen. Say one moment please, no signal. That's because we haven't turned anything on yet. Now it's time to turn everything on. Let's turn on the TV, the GameCube, So, the GameCube is running, and it's on the TV screen. I've already had my Elgato set up for recording the GameCube, so I just want to show you the settings, because you might run into trouble doing it the first time. So you go to this icon over here, show device settings, press that, and this will come up. This screen, and for capture, the input device, we're going to want other, because there isn't actually a GameCube one. And the input, it's imp this is important, we're going to want the composite, the composite input. And we want not to allow 60 frame rates per second, because it doesn't really run that on the GameCube. And that's it. Okay. So those are the settings you're going to want for your GameCube. So let's do a small recording quickly. To record, we just want to go down here to record, start recording. So now it's just recording whatever's on the screen. Looks like a fun game of Double Dash that they're playing by the AI. Okay, let's stop the recording. And now it should be saved in our folder. If you don't know where your folder is, you can find it here under this preference 
So mine will be under Simon Pang Movies Game Catcher HD Library. So let's go and find it. So I'll go down here to our Mac. Users. Simon Pang. Movies. Game Catcher HD Library. My video. And this should be the segment. So this is what we recorded. Alright. Let me turn off the GameCube so we can just check it. Alright. Check our footage. See? So this is what we were recording just a moment ago. And that's how it's done. So guys, that is how you record your GameCube with the Elgato HD. If I helped you, leave me a like and subscribe if you want more content like that. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for watching. I can hear your laughter coming waves across the shore. Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe. Maybe you could fly my kite, babe.